Hey everybody, this is Matt from Cincy Jungle. Today, I want to continue talking about the rookie linebackers. If you caught my last video, that was about how these linebackers are skilled in pass defense. And I'm talking, of course, about the three linebackers the Bengals selected in this year's NFL draft. Logan Wilson, who they took in the third round. Akeem Davis-Gaither, who they took in round four. And their last pick, Marcus Bailey. So I talked a little bit about these guys in, in past defense. Now I'm going to talk about all the other areas of their game, all right? Run fills and pass rush, all right? So, look, not all linebackers are created equal, okay? Uh, different linebackers are capable of different things, and you look at a coach like Lou Anarumo, he likes guys who are talented in multiple ways, who can be used in lots of different ways. And – they got that in this group. So these guys aren't aren't all alike. So let's talk a little bit about that. We're going to start off with the basics. We're going to start off with run fills. So here's a look at the Bengals last year against the Ravens. We're going to see right on the snap, all three of these guys, all right, one of the you – watch, you watch the first Ravens game, you'll see a lot more three linebackers than you do the rest of the season. All right, but look, all three of these guys, they're coming right here. All right, why is that? It's because – this tight end is swiping across the formation, right? They see that tight end. They're expecting this thing to cut back here. It's the inside zone. It's going to cut back here. So they're filling in those backside gaps. Now, Pratt does a really good job here. Billings does a great job kind of keeping the hole open for him, making it tough for this guy to reach him. And Pratt gets in there and makes the tackle in the backfield. Now, let's talk about the rookies. Here's Logan Wilson. Okay. Logan Wilson's the middle linebacker. All right. Once again, we've got a cutback here, just like we just saw. Gets off the block, comes back, boom, makes the tackle. All right. Solid play there. Knock the ball out, too. Now we're going to talk about Akeem Davis-Gaither. So Davis-Gaither plays in a lot of different positions. He's not a true off-the-ball linebacker. He was really more of an edge in college. But with his size, he's he's more likely to play inside backer uh, off the ball in the NFL. But you see him a lot out here, out in like a slot-type position uh, or walked up on the line of scrimmage. And – you know, thankfully, we do see some of these skills that are relevant to playing in the box. So you're going to see him right here. The run goes away. Gets off the block. Gets in there and makes a tackle. All right. So good rep right in there. And he's a guy, like, like I said, he's not your traditional linebacker. He's doing some things that are a little different in college. But thankfully, he shows and demonstrates some of the skills that are necessary to make that, that change where you don't get that with uh, with every single player. All right, Marcus Bailey from Purdue. All right. We see him. He's the middle linebacker. He squirts right through there, right? Shoots right through. Boom. Tackle for loss in the backfield. All right. Awesome plays right there. So you see these guys have the skills we're talking about, the skills that we're looking for here. All right, here's another look against the Ravens. Now we see the, the run goes wide. So we're seeing these linebackers scrape it. So keep an eye on Pratt right here. He's the middle linebacker here. All right, great job just working down sideline to sideline. You know, vigil. Vigil gets in there, he ends up getting blocked out, but, you know, what he's doing is he's forcing it back. All right, so really good job by those guys. So let's talk about Scrape it to go sideline to sideline. Here's Logan Wilson. Once again, gets off the block, boom. Gets there, gets the sideline, makes the tackle. All right, let's take a look at Marcus Bailey. All right, he's right here. Again, scraping. Nobody even gets to him on the block. Almost outruns the guy. Gets there with plenty of time, plenty of speed. So we see these are guys that can play off the ball linebacker. They have those skills. They can engage. They can get off blocks. And they have the speed to be able to run 
sideline to sideline. So these are the type of backers you're looking for in a modern defense in the modern NFL. So now we're going to talk about edge run support. All right, playing on the edge. Now, look, the Bengals, when they get into those three, four looks, it's not these guys that are normally going to be out there as the outside linebackers. Okay, generally, those are the guys we think of as defensive ends, playing outside linebacker in these positions. All right, that is a guy like Hubbard, a guy like Dunlap, a guy like Carl Lawson. Here we even have Brown in, all right, playing one of them. But, hey, guess what? Jermaine Pratt's walked up here as well. Okay? So, you see, Pratt does a good job here, right? He's got a tight end blocking on him. He holds the edge. Doesn't disengage from the block too fast and, you know, create a, a bounce opportunity there. Waits for it to come to him and gets off. All right? So, he does a pretty good job on that. Let's take a look now at Akeem Davis Gaither. Remember I said he is basically an edge, right? That's what he did in college. Probably not going to be doing that all the time with the Bengals, but that's what he brings. It's a little bit different. So I expect to see him in this type of position more than the other guys. All right. So we're going to take him out. He's right here in the bottom. Okay. Tackle tries to block him. He holds it, comes off there, makes a great tackle down the line of scrimmage. Awesome job there. Now, most of you have probably seen this one. This clip gets around quite a bit. But honestly, he's done this more than once. All right? Polar's coming around. He gets deeper than the, than the kickout man and sneaks in there without getting blocked to make the tackle. Whoop. Sneaks in there, makes a great tackle. Now, that's really relevant against... Teams like the Baltimore Ravens, all right? And this is actually going to be Hubbard here, I believe. It's not going to be a linebacker. But as I just showed you, linebackers can be in this position, right? See how Hubbard does basically the same thing here? Sneaks in, kind of, kind of gets low and tries to swoop around. Oh, it's Preston Brown that ends up making this play, all right, along with the defensive, defensive tackle. But uh, just kind of gives you an idea. That's how that that's relevant. That is how... This translates to things that you can see them do in Cincinnati. And, you know, the Ravens are running a ton of that stuff, right? Uh, you know, from their power plays, they also run some, some counter, some quarterback counter, things like that, where they are going to be looking to, to kick out on those guys. So he has some ability to do that, to take on those blocks, or to kind of scoot around, sneak around some of those blocks, which will definitely come in handy uh, in those weeks. All right. So. Continuing on, we talked about edge run support. Now we're going to talk about edge rush, all right? Getting after the quarterback. So we see here in this look from the Bengals, and we're just going to go right to the tight. But, hey, this is one of their substitution packages where they're expecting pass. It's a long yard situation, all right? And what do they do? They take Vigil, all right? They take Sean Williams, and they put these guys in the outside. So we saw that a lot. Vigil and Sean Williams walked up on the line of scrimmage, rushing the edge, showing rush in the middle, different things like that. We also have Sam Hubbard here. We'll talk about blitz in a minute, but Sam Hubbard, all right, normally a defensive end slash outside backer. He's at the Mike Backer spot, all right, and he's coming, sending some heat here too, all right. We see Vigil coming off the edge. So look, they're going to use these guys like that, all right, and Akeem Davis Gaither, Really brings something to the table in that area, okay? Real quick, real fast guy. So he's a different type of pass rusher that, you know, is a nice little changeup when you're used to getting Hubbard, you're used to getting Dunlap, Lawson. All right, now this small, quick guy comes in uh, in these situations. It's, it's something that the offensive tackle will have to adjust to. All right, so he's up here, all right? Dances around a little bit too much, and that's why he's not quite there in time, but he's able to slap that ball down in the quarterback's face. And you see that quite a bit with him. He does these moves, but some of it's just it's just taking too long, right? He's dancing around a little bit too much. So he just needs to be kind of like more of a one-cut type of guy uh, on these pass rushes, on these blitzes, and I think it could be effective. So that's just something to, that they can work with with him a little bit, but you see the speed. You see he can do it. All right, here's Marcus Bailey, all right? Marcus Bailey coming off the edge in this one. They try and block him with a running back. He goes right around him, gets in there for the sack. 
All right, so good look there from Bailey. Again, it's kind of Davis's thing, but we see uh, we see Bailey, we see uh, Logan Wilson, we see these guys move around doing doing some different things. Uh, and Bailey Bailey was you know an edge rusher from time to time. All right, now I just kind of talked about this a minute ago, but just to, to give you an idea, they they do all this stuff, right? They they do this stuff a lot. This is Sean Williams. This is Nick Vigil. They're walking these guys up in the B gap. They've got a true zero technique and then two edge pass rushers. They love to do stuff like this defensively, right? Uh, you know, the other thing they'll do is they'll have uh, defensive tackles in the B gaps and they'll walk up two guys in, you know, in both A gaps, right? And they're blitzing or they're not. It doesn't matter right now, though, right? You're making the D line account for those guys. And if you have a guy that can really get after the quarterback, too, even better. Right, just another dimension. So I think that's that's something exciting about about these guys, particularly Davis Gaither, but really all these guys have shown a little bit of ability to get after the quarterback that I think will be an upgrade when we are looking to do these things uh, with these linebackers this year. But they'll also come from space as well. Okay, so as we come around, look at the tight shot here. All right, you're gonna see there's Vigil, there's Pratt, all right. Hubbard's actually a defensive tackle here. This is a dime look. Looping around with Vigil. Sending Pratt wide off the edge. All right. And that gets picked up. So, let's take a look at my man Marcus Bailey. He's coming from, from space here. That guy's kind of showing. He's coming from space. Gets in there with speed. He's resilient. He's tenacious. He's holding onto that jersey, all right? And eventually they get that quarterback down, all right? Now, he wasn't blocked there, right? Yeah, he wasn't blocked. What can he do if he's blocked? I could have run through that hole, right? Well, take a look at him right here, all right? And look what he does to this center that tries to pick him up. Boom. Bench presses him back, gets in there for the sack, all right? So an awesome job there by Marcus Bailey on the blitz. But, hey, my man Logan Wilson can get after it too. All right. Here's Logan Wilson looping around just like we saw out of vigil a minute ago, getting in there, getting the hit in on the quarterback. So, hey, here's the point. Look, these linebackers, man, they can do some different things. They can be moved around. And we talked about in the previous video how good they are against the pass. All right, how these guys make plays in the balls. These, these guys are getting interceptions. They're going to get interceptions for us when they put these guys on the field. Now, they can also play the run. They can do it inside. They can do it outside. Like I said, you put these guys out in the nickel, especially Davis Gaither, but we've seen that out of Bailey and Wilson as well. You can move these guys around. You can put them on the edge. They can hold the edge, all right? But they can blitz the edge too. They can have a nice little speed change up as a pass rusher there. They can blitz and loop and come around from uh, their inside linebacker positions as well. So that's what's really exciting about these guys. It's not just regular linebacker stuff, right? It's not just playing inside linebacker. It's everything they can do. And that's what adds more value to this because, look, we, we talk about when people question the value of the linebacker position, right? But what do you want on defense? What has value? Can you affect the quarterback, all right? Can you cover, all right? Make plays in the passing game? And can you get after the quarterback? Can you sack the quarterback? We saw in the last video, these guys have coverage ability. And we saw in this video, these guys can get after the quarterback. They have some speed. And we know that Lou Anarumo is going to use them like that. All right? So awesome that they can do all those things. We see that these guys can play in the box. And particularly with Davis Gaither, we're seeing he can help a little bit on the edge. All right? And again, probably a little small to be doing that all the time, but he can help in that way. So Coach Lou Anarumo loves moving pieces, and he's got three moving pieces right here. So particularly with Davis Gaither because he's so different, all right? He's so different in the way he was deployed, the things he did. So even though, hey, Wilson went before him, Logan Wilson went before him, that doesn't mean one's more valuable than the other, all right? They can, they're going to use them both, and they're going to use them both in different ways. And, you know, it's going to be hard to get that comparison. Uh, Marcus Bailey, excellent against the pass, just like Logan Wilson, all right? You know, just like Akeem Davis Gaither. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if a healthy – healthy Bailey's getting in there on passing downs, even over, even over these guys sometimes, all right? Or they're 
you know, passing downs when they're when they're looking to get after the quarterback. Who are they going to send in? Maybe it's Davis Gaither, just to give it a little different look, a little a little more speed. You know, where it was Vigil and uh, Sean Williams last year. You know, maybe maybe it's Akeem Davis Gaither and, it, and it's Von Bell and Sean Williams is back back playing coverage and you know just putting more speed, and more versatility in the field. So exciting times for the Bengals doing some really cool things with the linebacker position and. How are they going to roster all three of these guys? I've heard people say, how are we going to get all these all three of these guys involved? <laughs> they might be able to do it, all right? That's what you call a good problem to have, and that's something Lou Anna Room is going to have to, to, have, to uh, have to figure out. But good problem to have. Hopefully they're healthy and performing, and, you know, and we had to make those decisions and, and figure that out. Um, but, you know, the versatility definitely gives you more options on the depth chart, you know, to be able to move people around and do some different things. They can help on special teams as well. Um, but look, that's what we wanted. We wanted these moving pieces, and that's what we got. So great draft. I'm excited about all three of these guys. All three can cover. All three are versatile. Uh, and it's going to be a great year for the Bengals' defense.